When we develop a schedule, we assume that the scheduled data is logical and reliable. Graphically displaying the scheduled data is one thing, while how to make the schedule logical is another thing. This video is concerned with the critical path analysis to make your schedule logical. In this discussion, we leverage Excel functions to formulate critical path analysis algorithm. The significance of critical path analysis cannot be overstressed in order to calculate minimum required overall project period based on a logical and reliable schedule. Critical path analysis can be done by Excel users who are familiar with elementary math formula, addition, subtraction, maximum and minimum. The precedence diagram method PDM, is based on the elementary Excel function C in accomplishing the critical path analysis. The precedence diagram method, PDM, is a method of constructing a project schedule network diagram that uses boxes to represent activities containing early start, early finish, late start, late finish, period, and float inside the box. The boxes are connected with arrows that show the dependencies. This method enables early schedule calculation along forward pass starting from the start activity. And also enables late schedule calculation along backward pass from the last activity. This method gives an accurate and reliable outcome to identify critical activity and come up with a logical project schedule. Calculation is extremely simple but takes time since manual arithmetic operation is to be done activity after activity. One way to automate the critical path analysis is reliant on Excel functions. Critical path analysis by means of the precedence diagram method as briefly presented here is going to be discussed in a separate video. The related link will be advised once the video is made. The precedence method can be formulated using Excel functions and formulas in addition to addition, subtraction, maximum and minimum. This enables you to eliminate the activity node boxes and connectors and to accomplish the critical path analysis in the Excel worksheet. The additional Excel functions are if if err search or find separately one custom function is developed as the replacement of the Excel workday function. The custom function is named workday ch included in the downloadable workbook. Weekend is selectable, either one weekend day or two weekend days or no weekend. Start date is included in counting the period. Additionally, the formulas used here create circular references in the workbook. Early start date, in column E, depends on early finish date, in column F. An early finish date, in column F, is dependent on the early start date, in column E. This makes the circular reference to each other, column E and column F. Usually, a circular reference in a workbook indicates that a formula contains an error, and Excel displays a dialog box telling you so. However, there are occasions when a circular reference is exactly what is needed to accomplish a particular task. This is such an occasion. To tell Excel that we intend to use circular references. 1. Go to File on the ribbon. 2. Select Options. 3. On the Excel Option Panel, select Formulas. 4. Select Enable Iterative Calculation. 5. Click OK. Early Schedule is calculated along the forward pass starting from the project's start activity. Activity is allowed to start only after all predecessors of the activity are finished. In other words, the start date is calculated latest, maximum, finish date of its predecessors. The early start date abbreviated as ES is translated into Excel formula using the Excel max function. ES equals max, finish date of predecessors. To read the finish dates of activities predecessors, it is necessary to identify each involved predecessor and corresponding finish date. The Excel search function is used to find every predecessor of activity. If no predecessor is found, an error occurs, which is the case of project start activity. The error is captured using the Excel is error function. Then the Excel if function is used to define the value depending on the value which the is error function will return. 
If his error returns true, then the activity's start date is not governed by predecessor and set to zero initially. The initial zero needs to be replaced by project's start date for the activity without predecessor on the worksheet. If his error returns false, this means that activity's predecessor is identified and then returns each predecessor's early finish date. Then using the Excel Max function, return the latest date from early finish date of its predecessors. The activity start date should be one day after the predecessor's latest finish date. One day after means two days to include reference date. The start date should be working day also. For this purpose, the custom function workday ch is used, where the argument period is set to 2. Early finish date abbreviated to EF is calculated with calculated ES and considering activity period and non-workdays. EF equals ES plus period plus known workdays. Use the modified Excel workday function, workday ch. Formula for ES and EF entered in the first activity cells are copied down to the last activity cells. Enter start date for the activities without predecessors. Only one activity is without predecessor in the example. You can check whether early schedule is correctly calculated. Late schedule is calculated along backward pass through the schedule, starting at the last activity. An activity must finish before its earliest successors start. Late finish of the activity is equal to earliest start date of its successors. In other words, the finish date is the earliest, minimum, start date of its successors. The late finish date abbreviated as LF is translated into Excel formula using the Excel min function. LF equals min, LS of successors. The Excel search function is used to find every successor of activity. If no successor is found, an error occurs, which is the case of project last activity. The error is captured using the Excel is ERR function. Then the Excel if function is used to define the value depending on the value which the is ERR function will return. If is ERR returns true, then the activity's finish date is not governed by successor and set to the early finish date of last activity. The Excel max function is used to return the latest finish date of the early schedule. If is ERR returns false, this means that activity's successor is identified and then returns the successor's late start date. Then using the Excel min function, return the earliest date from late start date of its successors. The activity finish date should be one day before the successor's earliest date of late start date. One day before means minus two days to include reference date. The finish date should be working day also. For this purpose, the custom function workday ch is used, where the argument period is set to minus 2. Late start date abbreviated to ls is calculated with lf, activity period and non-workdays. ls equals lf minus period minus known workdays. Use the modified excel workday function, workday ch. Formula for LS and LF entered in the last activity cells are copied up to the start activity cells. Finally, we are able to identify the critical activities referring to the early schedule and late schedule we have calculated. The criticality of activities are defined based on each activity float or slack calculation. The float is computed by comparing the earliest schedule and the latest schedule of the same activity. If the latest schedule of an activity is later than its earliest date, with float bigger than zero, we may delay the activity's start or finish date by the float without delaying project completion. But if the latest date is same as the earliest date, with zero float, it is not possible to delay the activity without delay in the project completion. Consequently, the activities with zero float are considered and defined as critical activities. The float is calculated with LF minus EF. 
equals LFEF. The critical activities are highlighted using conditional formatting. These constitutes the longest project path. Now we can draw schedule bars and dependencies relationship based on the result of critical path analysis. Three methods are known on the worksheet. First method is to fill the schedule cells with your favored color using conditional formatting function. Second method draws schedule bars using shapes, for example, rectangle, starting at the cell corresponding to the start date and length corresponding to period. In addition, dependencies relationship between activities are displayed with connectors. Third method display the schedule bars using Excel chart type of stacked bar. Only the second method, using Excel shapes, caters for relationship while the rest two methods can show schedule bars only. Thanks for your time. Hoping that this is of some use.